What is up, everybody? Welcome to this new video, Express. I'm going to be showing you how to add the order tracking into your Shopify store. So in order to get started, it's really important to check out that you have an active plan into Shopify. As you can see already here into my Shopify administrator tool, into the dashboard, and I wanted to go into settings, into the left pod. Once I'm here into settings, I want you to make sure that I hit into plan. And here you want to make sure that you have an active plan in order to get started with uh, what you're going to be doing next. So this is really important guys in order to add applications and much more elements into your Shopify so hit into the X mark once you have successfully done that let's go into apps and here I'm gonna go into apps and sale channel settings just to find out the Shopify app store button if you don't find this you can go and and open a new tab and hit into apps.shopify.com with your Shopify already uh, account signed in once I am in here into the upper side, it says search apps. You want to focus and look out for the keywords of the application that you want to find out, which in our case, it's order uh, tracking. So now it's going to be appearing a lot of applications that can be helping us to make the order tracking of our platform. So what you want to do is to look out for the filter and here into filters, you can go into works with Shopify POS and customizes checkout. I'm going to hit now into tracked and now into all of these elements what you want to do is to find out the one that says free plan available and has a really high rated product in my case i'm going to go for after shipped order tracking so this one has a free plan available we have the order tracking and has really great rating. So if you find out another application that can be helping you to do exactly the same thing, but this one has all of the elements that I have just tell you, then you can go into add application. Later on, it's gonna be asking us to install the application inside our actual store of Shopify. You want to get into install, and just like that, it's gonna be popping up the actual installation of the application inside the actual Shopify. So what we need to do is to get started with our actual tracking stuff of our orders. So if I go back into my Shopify, I wanted to go into the orders. As you can see, I have a lot of orders in here. We have all of these elements as paid, fulfillment status, partially fulfilled, fulfilled, on hold, and much more. So what I want to do is to, first of all, generate my actual order tracking in order to track these elements into my actual store. So if I go here once again into the after shipped tracking application, we have the getting started with the after shipped. So we can import using an API. We can connect our store and import them automatically or using a CVS file. So let's focus into the second option. I'm going to hit now into got it. And here, what I want to do is to connect my account into my actual store just to make sure that the store connection has not been successfully granted. So in my case, as you can see, we have the Shopify already been added. So if I focus into the shipping codes, into the shipping section, I can hit into add shipment into the upper side. And as you can see, we have the tracking number, the career, the origin, and the destination. And we have here the order number, the shipping title, and the language. So all of these elements should be added, let's say manually. So you can go, let's say for example, into DHL, the uh, logistic global stuff that can be helping us to get started with. So as you can see, we have the uh, number that we can add in here and this element we can just copy this one and paste that in here in my case i don't have an actual code so what i just want to do is to make like a quick example of how you can do this in a very easy easy way i believe that you wanted to find out something like this you want your customers to click into like say for example like a track your order and we have the track order status and you have here the tracking number so i'm gonna let's say for example double zero ninety two zero and you can see all the elements about the delivery status so to get started with this what you wanted to do is to have an actual order tracking number if you are making some drop shipping what you wanted to do is to go into your applications and look out for your dropshipper supplier elements that uh, I believe that appears into the app. In my case, I am using cjdropshipping.com and here all of my orders should be appearing, of course, right away. So for example, here, check it out that we have the cjdropshipping.com. I wanted to go into my profile, into my CJ. I'm gonna close this one and I have the sowings really, really quick. And I now focused into my orders. Now here into my orders, I click here 
I'd have the order fulfillment and here it to be appearing my orders. Now, since these are not my products, all of these elements should be appearing and be generated automatically in here. So as you can see, you have the order number, the CJ order number, the status, the quantity, the shipping method, and this is the element that we are actually looking for, the tracking number. So this tracking number, I just needed to copy this number and paste that into my after ship tracking into the tracking pages i can go into page variations and i can create a create a page variation there so i can go into actions and hit into edit and here this is the part where i wanted to edit my page like how it's going to be looking my elements the delivery day the monday your order is delivered inside the widget section of the tracking pages i do have the customized order lookup widget let's say that look up tracking number or let's go for both this is the preview how it's going to be looking use universal url or you can use any specific page variation so i'm going to choose tracking page and here I have the copy section so i can go back into my shopify go into my online store i'm going to hit into my pages and inside my pages, I should see, or I needed to generate a page where people can, let's say, for example, specify specifically, uh, let's say, create an actual, uh, let's say, tracking of the actual product. So let's go into pages once again. Let's go into add page. I'm going to go for track your order here. Into content, I'm going to change this for an HTML file. I'm going to hit into and paste this code. I'm going to hit into save. I'm going to hit into view page and there we go. This is how it should be looking at our order number, order number, tracking number. So uh, what is left to be done is just to get your order number and to get your order number, you should get that by getting the shipping labeled or you can contact the drop shipper supplier where you are currently making some sales and orders. So with that being said, guys, we have not reached into the very end of the video. So hopefully this was a very useful video for you. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more tools of how I can get started into Shopify. Hopefully, guys, once again, guys, this was very useful for you. So thank you once again for watching the video and I'll see you on the next video.